Right, so in this, this example what we'll do is we'll look at how we can create a table such as this uh, using the Kendo JavaScript integration. So with this uh, just we'll just go to the website just to see it running and we'll just pick this one here. Okay, so, so for this fairly simple table uh, we'll take a key size, we'll take it 2 to the power of the key size gives us this value then we'll do a little calculation. We can enter a value here to do the calculation or we can actually select from one of these values and it should change the calculation each time. Ok, so let's have a look at the code for this. Ok, so this is the... Uh, we'll have a look at the first one. So this is the example here. Uh, so we have our Kendo uh, JavaScript and CSS here. We then have an Ajax uh, form here, element. And what's going to happen is that when we post something, such as from a button, then it will post any of the values with inside this uh, Ajax form back into the action controller. In this case, it will send the value that's defined in keys back, or it will post in a, a link. And then what happens is that because this is Ajax, then this here is updated, which means that we update only this part of the form, which is key partial, which is this one. So this will update the grid. So the page shouldn't refresh, uh, or the only part that will refresh is the is the data grid here. Okay, so we can see how we've done this here. We have a list, and I've just defined encryption keys, which is obviously, in this case, three fields to it. Uh, we have a, a value in there. We have a result, and time taken is the three elements to this in here, key size, number of keys and so on. Okay, so this this will define our columns here and all we're doing is filling up a view data then renders it as encryption keys. Okay, so if we look at our view find it's in the encryption view, so we need to look for the encryption controller. With the inside the encryption controller, here are the, the, the action results in the controller that will be called up. So let's find the key. Okay, so when we do a normal uh, page refresh, then it will call this action. Uh, if we do a post from the form, it will call up HTTP post. And what it does is it gets the value of keys, as we've seen from the text box, and then it will then feed that into a little method that we have here called the gen key table. So we'll just have a look at our gen key table. It's basically going to pass a value in, start and end, and then an increment. Uh, what we've done is we've built up uh, an encryption keys class with inside our, our model. Uh, we should find that in here somewhere. find it. And here it is here. Ok, so we've created a class here called Encryption Keys. It's going to get filled up with a few values and then those values will actually get shown to the grid. So let's come back here 
Okay, so we create a new list with uh, this class. We then do some calculations here. In this case, we're using Bouncy Castle because the, the values become very large. If we do 2 to the power of a value more than 32, or 62 if we're using uh, unsigned ints, longs, then it will overflow. So we use Bouncy Castle to be able to do that. So we create our, our list. And this is where we do our calculation here, where we can define the units that are displayed. Then each time we'll add the keys, the, the values that we have, onto our list. And at the very end, we'll just fill up our view data, so that when we come back, from here, we fill up view data and then we call up the partial view which is key partial and that should reload this table. Okay, so to show an example again, there we go. That's building the table each time. Okay, so this is shown an example of how we use Kendo to be able to fill a data table.